Good morning, Christ Church. Today is uh, Thursday, December 23rd. It's Christmas Eve Eve, right? Yes. We have our, our services start today already. Yep. And before we come to that, we're going to say uh, daily devotions with for uh, individuals and families. In the morning, page 137, 137. And we'll give you a second to get to your page, 137. And we start, as always, with this devotion with um, a portion of Psalm 51. Right? Yep. Okay. Open my, my lips, lips, O Lord, Lord and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall proclaim your praise. praise. Create, Create in me a clean heart, heart, O God, and, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast, cast me not away from, from your presence, and, and take not your, your Holy Spirit, spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And um, normally for a daily devotion, there's a, a short reading that they suggest from Peter, but we're going to do the gospel reading for today. It's one of my favorites. So I'm going to read it. It's from uh, the first chapter of Luke, starting at verse. 25. In the days of King Herod of Judea, there was a priest named Zechariah who belonged to the priestly order of Abijah. Maybe you should have read this one. Anyway, <laughs> priestly order of Abijah. His wife was a descendant of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. Both of them were righteous before God, living blamelessly according to all the commandments and regulations of the Lord. But they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and both were getting on in years. Once when he was serving as priest before God and his section was on duty, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood to enter the sanctuary of the Lord and offer incense. Now at the time of the incense offering, the whole assembly of the people was praying outside. Then there appeared to him an angel of the Lord standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was terrified and a fear overwhelmed him. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah, for your prayer has been heard. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you will name him John. You will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He must never drink wine or strong drink. Even before his birth, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit. He will turn many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. With the spirit and power of Elijah, he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Zechariah said to the angel, how will I know that this is so? For I'm an old man, my wife is getting on in years. And the angel replied, I'm Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God and I have been sent to speak to you to bring you this good news. But now before you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become I'm sorry, because you did not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time, you will become mute, unable to speak until the day these things occur. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary. When he did not come out, he could, when he did come out, he could not speak to them and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary. He kept motioning to them and remained unable to speak. When his time of service was ended, he went to his home. After those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and for five months she remained in seclusion. She said, this is what the Lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and took away the disgrace I have endured among my people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's, uh, <clears throat> Zechariah is one of my patient, patron saints because... Uh, you're making well, it. No, he's, uh, at least for me, a patron saint for those who've lost their words and they came back. Oh, right. Yes, that's yeah. true. Yeah. He did get them back, but I yeah. promise I am not having a baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. You'd have some uh, explaining, explaining to, to do. do. Yeah. I would. Yes. Okay. As, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry. Shifting to the Apostles' Creed, yeah. which is on page um, 96. Yes. Okay. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. 
I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And now we offer our, uh, our prayers and yours. You can um, pause the recording to remember your family and friends. We continue our prayers uh, for Christ Church always and for clergy team and the staff and the parishions at large. We still are praying for those who've been affected by COVID now in the Omicron variant, if this continues. Uh, but we also, in the uh, worldwide cycle of prayer, we pray today for the people in China and Hong Kong and Macau. And in the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Church of Nigeria, uh, sorry, the Diocese of Ilesa in the Church of Nigeria. And in uh, our diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for the, uh, the, um, the people who are uh, incarcerated at All Souls. Um, actually, <laughs> the people are, are uh, in prison, uh, but they have a chapel called the All Souls Chapel. Yes. Yes, they're incarcerated yeah. at Union Correctional. Yes. And they have a worship community there at the yes. Souls Chapel. Uh, yeah. Oh, Lord, in your mercy, hear our, our prayer. prayer. <laughs> and now we go to the Lord's Prayer. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done on, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever, forever and ever. Um, Amen. And we conclude with our, I guess, concluding collect. Mm -hmm. We can say that together. Okay. Lord, Lord God, God, Almighty, Almighty and Everlasting Father, Father you, you have brought us in safety to this new day. day. Preserve us with your mighty power. power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thanks for joining us for this brief uh, prayer service. And we are really looking forward to uh, Christmas Eve Eve tonight. Um, I think at six o'clock, the, the kids are going to present their... Christmas pageant, and there's also a service uh, at four and seven. Uh, yes, look online. Seven. Look online. Yeah, yeah. There are so many services, and then yeah. and these many, are all many outside. By the way, this is our Christmas Eve Eve, and so mm -hmm. it, all of the the three services tonight are um, outside for those who would feel more comfortable uh, than coming inside. Uh, so. Bring a blanket, bring a chair. Yeah. Um, the kids' pageant and the later service. And then and I think yeah. at uh, 6 p.m., not only will we have the children's pageant, but also the uh, candlelight. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so. go online, look at all the options. There'll be some live streaming. Yeah. Um, lots of options today and tomorrow. And um, if we don't see you in yeah. person, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye. Bye bye.